Good morning, Builder News. Good morning, Hacker News. We are going to do a try. I saw an interesting little title here. Lessons from plain text. Now, if there's one person that loves plain text more than me, I haven't met him. I've done more things plain text than anyone who has in history, I would have to say. Um, I really mean that objectively. <laughs> I mean, PLDP is built in plain text. Um, now, of course, the very sophisticated plain text, but there's no syntax. Um, we've got, we've got, actually, why am I using this? Why am I using the web version? So I'm on slow internet now, but luckily I have the worldwide scroll on my machine, so I can just start that up and I can use the scroll. Oops. Oh, and of course, oh man, of course I don't have PLDB downloaded on this version of the scroll. Let, let's see what sites I have on my copy of the scroll. Let me go ahead and fetch PLDB and my blog. And let me just get off, get them all. Because so, so on my copy of the scroll, I'm constantly deleting it, reinstalling it to test different things, which is why normally I would have the whole scroll on my machine. But anyway, but look at what we do with plain text. We do a lot of things. Um, oops, that's broken. Um, we, uh, anyway, PLDB is all plain text. Over 5,000 plain text files, but they're strongly typed because they're built in this plain text stack called particles, parsers, and scroll. Um, and oh boy, this internet is painfully slow. How about, how's my fetch going? Oh, the internet is slow. So anyway, anyway, almost, almost, I really just want to show this before I just to provide context of, of how much I love plain text. Really have to have a obsession with plain text to do what we have done with plain text. All right, here we go. Look at this. Oh my goodness, what? That's not right. Oh my goodness. Come on, oh boy. Okay, anyway. So what we've done is we have a language for building languages in plain text, and then we have plain text languages. And they only use three ingredients. They have, we have what, lines, which are called particles. Let me, get, let me do a simple one, where's numbers? Okay, let's go to numbers. We have lines, these are called particles. One, so we got five particles in this. Then we call words atoms, and the words are separated by spaces. And then if you indent things, um, we call this particle a subparticle of this particle. And a single indent is all you need, a single space. And then, you know, we can compile that, we can execute it. Um, and five, and I don't really know what, what the expected behavior is <laughs> there. This is a demo language. But um, anyway, this is, so so it's very, 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 basically at the point I want to just address the context I wanted to create was I love plain text. So let's see what Rugu has to say about plain text. And I'm on very slow internet. So while we do that, I'm gonna open the comments too. To the right there. Okay, lessons from plain text, October 10th, 2024 updated on the 13th i like that i like how he has the update date there discuss links to the discussion that's great you know a software developer with a hacker's attitude interested in philosophy and psychology got a picture i like this guy i am gonna give him a follow here he's got his his real name picture he's using he's putting written in updates is there a link to the source code of this post there's no copyright symbol. Fuck yeah, I like this guy. This guy's smart. Follow, give this guy a follow. Give this guy a follow. Now I would love to see a link to the source code for this post. Um, what's he using? What is he using? I'm guessing he's probably using a static generator, but let's, he's not using scroll, that's fine. Um, well, anyway. 
When you interact with a text file using an editor, what you see doesn't necessarily reflect the data stored in the file. I'll show the contents of print text by means by close up the and so text and choose to interpret. Okay. This means that two different files could look the same or the same file look different as a reader's view. Okay. Control that tab is good, yep. Text editor hides the details, so you don't have to overthink. However, there are many times when these details leak through the protected play that text to trust the editor. Yes. Well, it's yes, yeah, spaces. Do you know spaces? There was a time when spaces didn't exist, and 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 I remember seeing a lot of old Roman texts, and <laughs> it was just like uh, one giant word. Um, is that true? Why tabs were initially developed to reduce the repetitive use of both the space bar and backspace key? Tab key. Tab. I thought tab key was something to do with alignment of tabular alignment, but I don't know. Um, history. Yes, that's what I thought. So it was, it was basically tabbing to a certain horizontal location to the next hor horizontal location to align things. Um, so tab is really, oh, this is interesting. I hadn't really thought about it. like tab is, is basically all tab is kind of like CSS. It's like for display purposes only, if you think about it. It's not really in a coding. I hate, I fucking hate tabs. Sorry, I'm a spacebar guy. You'll notice in scroll, we use a single space and as an indent, tabs are just, we, we just, we don't think tabs are very special. People still debate using tab or spaces. Why I use most spaces most of the time? I told you this motherfucker was a genius. <laughs> I think the only benefit of tabs is when you copy and paste into spreadsheet applications, they recognize tabs as the delimiter but they really should also recognize spaces sometimes. They should be more intelligent and then there would be zero. Then I would never use tabs again. And I would love that world. Soft wrapping versus hard wrapping. Oh, that's another good point. Text is not wrapped, text is wrapped, yep. Right? hard wrapping. I used to do this. I went through a stretch of doing this and boy, was it a mistake because a couple years ago, I realized I wrote a post called write thin to write fast. Um, again, why am I, I gotta just go use the scroll. Sorry. Okay. Oh no. Is it still? Oh my goodness. My internet is so slow. This is why you should always update your scroll. Um, there's, there's some things we can do to make it super fast to, where's right, here we go, right thin to right fast. So I went through a stretch where I had an epiphany where I realized that all the writers that I respected, when they would send me emails and stuff, it would be like really narrow columns. And I was like, what the hell is going on? And then I realized that, um, they did. They, all, they always wrote with narrow columns and 
Um, anyway, point is, you read a lot faster when things are narrow columns. It's less eye, eye movement, it's more efficient, and that has significant effects. So it's actually, um, and, and I got so, anyway, I got so into it that I started hard wrapping my writings. And that becomes a disaster because you just edit things and you have the lines get all fucked up. So soft wrap. Word wrap is great. Um, yes, you have the now the following problems. Yes. Oh, uh, yep. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Yes. This guy's a genius. Chose to simplify, that's true. So wait, what, what does this do? Does, does this, um, I, we always just get rid of this fucking character. It's completely useless. <laughs> so I'm hoping that's what this does. Even plain text might be a straightforward curious. I love this, everything about this post. This is terrific. What else do you get on this blog? smarter introducing mark scroll positions hmm. understanding keyboard events better the importance of typing fast it's terrific lots of great stuff to read um, what a great way to start the morning and it's uh, game day we're doing a hackathon today so uh, I'm I'm um, sign off now. Cheers. Have a great morning, everyone. Keep, keep building. Cheers.